two hours from now, this is where it's all gonna happen. Go all the way from Denver to Hawaii to celebrate the end of life as we Stop know it. it. Lindsay's gonna see this. By the time she watches, it'll be too late to change your mind. Like she'd ever. Look at this place, it's gorgeous. How do I get stuck with the camera? You're pushy, you'll get people to talk to you. Hey, Speaking bro. of which, hey Chad, now's your big chance. Say a few words. Like what? Anything. Do something about what an amazing guy I am. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to tell the truth. <laughs> Smart ass, you're fired. Hey, anyone know where I can get a new best man on this island? What about you, Trevor? A few words for the bride? Uh, Lindsay, first time I saw you, I knew you were the girl for me. You're smart, gorgeous, sexy, fun. We're great together. I love you, babe. I love you so much. Marty, did you see how much these orchids cost? Joe, oh, please, okay? She only gets married once. Yeah, and she's gonna bankrupt us by the end of this. <laughs> Where on earth is Lindsay? Oh, wow. We have to get started with the pictures. Mom, yeah. Mom, oh, do you know where I have bouquets? Uh, yes, the right over there is there. Listen, honey, I need you to relax, <laughs> and I need you to start enjoying your day. I will, I will. I, I, I just, just want everyone to be perfect. Yeah. Trevor, down yet? Um, oh, Lynn, you look beautiful. No, 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 no. Makeup, makeup. Please don't touch her. Okay, we have pictures okay. now. All right, okay. let's go. All right. Excuse me. Oh, oh. oh. oh my God. Hope the poly's drunk already. <laughs> well, I'm him some slack. This is the most important day of his life. You look amazing. Hey, I've got no idea who most of these people are. It looks like only Trevor's side could afford to fly to Hawaii from Colorado for a wedding. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but like, can I get your bags on board for you? Cabin number. The Aloha Suite. Wow. On your honeymoon. You're planning to enjoy every second of it. Congratulations. Thank you. This is incredible. This is gonna be so good for you, babe. We're gonna relax, hang out by the pool, get rid of some of that wedding stress. <laughs> Six days to Tahiti, no work, no worries. It's you and me. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. <laughs> oh my god. Pretty amazing, huh? It'll work. It's from my parents. They know how to get a party started. They turned out great, didn't they? Yeah. What do you say we forget about the wedding for a while? Try to enjoy ourselves. Okay, but you do have to admit it was a beautiful wedding. It was. I'm just glad it's over. Hey. Babe. <laughs> Something had happened to you. You, you. you made a shift, okay? You got intense. This whole having to get married in Hawaii thing. Well... It had to be perfect. I didn't want to be embarrassed in front of your parents and all your friends. You know what you need? Because I do. <laughs> you need a distraction. You need something <laughs> to take your mind off of the wedding and on to more important things. More important? <laughs> Much more important. Do you want to see the ship first? No. <laughs> ship. Ship. We're married. <laughs> 
My dad thinks you rock. He's convinced you're gonna save me from being irresponsible <laughs> and superficial. Well, I am gonna save you. The best thing that ever happened to you. Don't I know what I do? Ovan na kachoya. Ovan kachoya na matata. Matata ko se pirag. Ovan. travel too much. And I'm a sales rep, so my job keeps me on the road a lot. Trevor wanted to wait, but he changed his mind. Did he change it, or did you change it for him? I just helped him see that it's best for both of us. We're out of college, starting a business together, family eventually. Hey, baby. Hi, honey. Hi. Hi. Who's your friend? This is Kim from Dallas. From Dallas, you Texas girl? Transplanted in Arizona, actually. Oh, all right. Yeah, you don't have the, uh, the accent. No. Honey, who are those guys over there? Oh, that is um, Max and Luca and Ben. Hey. They're Hungarian. Very exotic. I know you're into that. I could be. Sure. <laughs> all right, well, then you should come out with us later. We're going to go to the bar and have some drinks. Oh, that could be fun. Yeah. We have dinner reservations at 8.30. Oh, we'll go after. We'll meet up around 10, go to the dance club, show you my moves. Sounds good. All right. Cocktail? Sure. Cocktail? Why not? It's vacation. <laughs> that it is. Thank you. He's really cool. Congratulations on your marriage. He's a lucky man. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, aren't you supposed to be whining and dining by now? I've been abandoned for his new posse. Well, who's lost an hour game? Hang with us, we'll take care of you. <laughs> you look very beautiful tonight. What can I get you? Vodka. Rocks. Get a double. Wow. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> Let the rock stop, please. Okay.
Kim, it's Lindsay. I thought we said we were gonna meet at the gym. Anyway, I'm done. Maybe I'll see you later. For God's sake, Trevor, you're gonna miss the whole day. Why'd you do that? It's almost two. So what? So, I'm tired of being alone. Everybody's bailing on me. Dance until like five. Yeah. Yeah. That's how Ben and the guys were gonna hang out again tonight. Really? I told you, they, these guys, they got connection to these European designers. It's good for the shop. They can get us stuff that no one else can. This is business. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. a little business, a little pleasure, is there? Besides, we had a blast. We got pretty messed up. Well, I like it when you get messed up. It's fun. Trevor, no. Come on. Just, just a little longer, okay? Close the blinds. Someone so beautiful be all by herself. I like to be alone. Is that a request? <laughs> no. It's okay. So, would you like a drink? Sure. Surprise me. I will. Mrs. Forrest? Is anyone here? Mrs. Forrest? Hello? Attention. 
with passengers Trevor and Lindsay Flores, please contact security or go to the reception desk immediately. All right, we'll do a full ship search sector by sector. Start with the public areas first. Once we clear those, we'll move on to the restricted ones. What about the cabins? Look, we want to extend every courtesy to our passengers. But make no mistake, our top priority is finding Trevor and Lindsay Forrest. Understood? Yes, sir. Let's go. Come on. Okay. Seen these folks on board? Uh, no. Yeah. What's going on? Excuse me. We were wondering if you've seen this couple recently. We found Mrs. Forrest. That's hallway level two. We need medical. Oh, we just got to work. Um, Half hallway. Yeah. Yeah. Standing around, get these people out of here. Come on, come on. Mrs. Forrest, I'm Alan Sheriff, Chief of Security. Are you, um, are you hurt anyone? What happened? We're working on that. You still haven't been able to locate your husband. Trevor? Yeah. You have any idea where he might be? I don't. I don't know. I, I can't remember. Is Trevor all right? You find him? We'll find him. Okay. Everything's gonna be all right. I don't remember. I don't remember. Just take your time. Doctor's on the way. Stay with me. I don't remember. I don't know why I don't remember. I see great things ahead for these two. Lindsay here is just what this guy needs. Uh, this is a girl who's going places. You mark my words. <laughs> a toast. To the bride and groom. Yeah. And maybe Lindsay here will get you off your lazy ass and focus on something besides football, booze, and parties. You're going to keep him in line, right? Yeah. We'll take care of each other. I don't want to sudden if I'm okay. I'm fine. Can I have a glass of water? The doctor, could you this moment, please? This is Forrest. There's someone here who'd like to have a word with you. This is Special Agent Merced. She's with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Hi. I know you. We met at the casino. I'm Gwen. You're an FBI agent? On vacation. But if there's anything I can do to help you, I will. Yes, whatever you can do. We... I have to find Trevor. We're combing every inch of the ship. If he's here, we're going to find him. I'd like to see the cabin. Absolutely. I'm going with you. You should probably stay here and rest after we find him. Okay. So tell me a little bit about you and Trevor. How long have you been together? A couple years. 
We started dating in college. Are you still in school? We graduated a few years ago. We're starting a business together. That's exciting. What kind of business? This high-end boutique that sells mostly accessories. Purses and belts and that sort of thing. He's gonna run the business side and I'm gonna do the buying and manage the store. That sounds like a place I'd wanna visit. It's gotta be okay. And we have all these plans. It's gonna be okay. What if it's not? It will be. It will be. Sorry, Mr. Farson, we're gonna have to ask you to stay here. Why? Other than the few things we sent to your cabin, we're keeping it sealed uh, from everybody except for law enforcement. We don't dock for three more days. Which is why we need to maintain the integrity of the scene. Do you remember coming back to your room last night? No, I don't. Last thing I remember is the club. We were partying, I guess. I had too much. Tell us about being at the club. It's just like any other night. We met some friends for drinks. I'm sorry I have to ask you this, but is there any possibility that Trevor might have been with someone else? You mean another woman? No. He wouldn't. No, Trevor's very loyal. Any chance anyone wants to hurt him? Everybody loves Trevor. There was this one thing. What one thing? Nothing really. He just met these guys. We were dancing and Trevor got a little jealous. He does that. Was there a physical altercation? No. Just, just arguing. I didn't think it was a big deal. Did you get into a fight with Trevor last night? I just... can't remember. Make sure they cover the handprint and seal the balcony door. Yeah, we'll take care of it. So, um, what do you think? You think this is a domestic issue? Not necessarily. But somebody's got a temper. Even if he did go overboard, it still could have been an accident. One detail that doesn't make sense to me. I was married for 10 years and never took off my wedding ring. Ever. Officer Sherrick. I'm Captain Fulton. This is Special Agent Merced. We feel very fortunate to have you on board, Miss Merced. I'm just worried that this might intrude on your vacation. Well, I'm here, so uh, it's not much of an imposition. Thank you. Where's Mrs. Forrest? Uh, she wanted to phone her family, so we set up a video conference for her. All right, well, uh, have a seat. Thank you. Uh, first of all, let me assure you that we're doing everything in our power to locate Mr. Forrest. You're not turning back. No, we're about halfway between Hawaii and Tahiti, so our determination was made to continue forward. But the company's got search and rescue aircraft all along our route, and all commercial vessels are being notified to be on the alert. And, of course, we're continuing onboard search. I don't think he's on the ship. I, I think he went overboard, and I think that he was hurt and bleeding when it happened. What do you think somebody pushed him? Uh, it's, a, it's a distinct possibility, yeah. I don't know exactly what happened, but I'd like to speak with some people and see what I can find out. Okay, all right, I think that's a good idea. I would just ask that you try not to disrupt our paying guests any more than we already have. I'll do what I can. 
Okay, well, please extend every courtesy to Agent Merced. Thank you, Captain. Thank you very much. I, I would, uh, I would be remiss, however, if I didn't remind you that officially, U.S. law enforcement has no jurisdiction aboard Emerald Cove Cruise Lines. We're in international waters. We sail under the Liberian flag. And I'll remind you that the FBI has the right to investigate any crime that involves an American citizen whose ship disembarks from an American port. Well, we don't know that a crime has been committed. Then I guess we'll have to find out. Thank you, Captain. I hope this will be all right, Mrs. Forrest. So much smaller. I'm sorry, it's all we had available. Where are Trevor's things? Security sealed off the cabin until the authorities could examine it. I got as many of your things as I could that wouldn't upset the crime scene. My ring? My ring was in there. I'm sorry. They were very strict. If you need anything, Anything at all, please just let me know. Your parents are waiting to talk to you. When you're ready, I'll take you over for a video conference. Thank you. Oh, honey, are you okay? I'm okay, Mom. You sure? Yeah. This just doesn't feel real. Well, have they found Trevor yet? They're still looking. I wish I could be there. I could... I'll, I'll fly out, and I'll meet you when you dock. It's too far. No, they're gonna find him. Somehow, I'm sure this is just all gonna work out. Marty, let me talk to her. You huh? How are you holding up, honey? Not so good. I feel so lonely out here. Well, you're not alone. You've got family, and we're only a phone call away whenever you need us. You hold yourself together, OK? I will. I'm trying. We're all praying for you. We've been talking with Aaron and Nadine Forrest. And they'd like it if you'd call them. I can't. No, no, I, I just can't handle that. They're worried sick. What am I supposed to say? That Trevor and I got drunk and we were partying and now I don't know if he's alive or dead? How am I supposed to say that to them? You know they're just gonna blame me. This is not your fault, Lindsay. But that's what they're gonna think. Especially his mother, you know she will. She never thought I was good enough for him. Honey, don't you worry about what anybody else thinks, okay? If you don't want to talk to them, then just don't. They're still looking for him, Lindsay. You never know. I know. I feel it. He's gone. Trevor's gone. security camera footage cut together so that we can get a real indication of Trevor Forrest's whereabouts throughout the night. He, uh, he didn't leave the cabin until around, you know, somewhere in the evening. How much coverage do you have? About 60% of the public areas. And from 9.30 to 11.30, he was in the casino. How was that with him? I, I got somebody working on that. I got back to him. Mrs. Forrest is gone for... Just over an hour, and then, and this is the last clip of them together. It's from the club. That's it. Not much. Wait, uh, go back. There, stop. Uh, same guy from the casino. 
That must be the guy that Lindsay told us Trevor got into an argument with. We need to talk to him. Janelle, find out where Patterson is. See if he's got an ID on that passenger, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. Nice catch, Agent. did something to Trevor. Why would you say that? You weren't even with us that night. Because they're dangerous. Trust me. Did something happen? No. If you know something that could help Trevor, you gotta tell me. You can't tell anyone. The one with the shaved head, Max. Yeah. We were partying, you know, and um, he said he had some more stuff back in his cabin, so I went with him. And, and I tried to leave. I realized I'd been stupid and nobody else was there. And he attacked me. raped you. Oh my God, Ken. I'm so sorry. We'll get him. We'll have him arrested. No, no, you can't tell anyone. You can't let him get away with it. Oh, but they just say it's consensual that I wanted it. I'll be the one put on trial. I won't go through that. I just... When I heard that Trevor was missing, I knew I had to tell you. An FBI agent on board, we gotta tell her. No, I don't want anyone to know, ever. You have to promise me. Maybe if we promise me. Three men are Hungarian nationals. They're at the pool right now. You identified them fast. You have an efficient team. To be honest, we've got a lot of practice. Over the last few years, more than 30 people have disappeared on cruise ships. And that's not including suicides and accidents that we know about. You know, it's it's kind of an ideal place to commit a perfect crime. No jurisdiction, no witnesses, and well, no body. Let's not advertise that too loudly. <laughs> Having a bad day as it is, right? We've got it all wrong. I mean, we like those Americans. We were even talking about working together. My father and I, we have an export business. Very successful. And Trevor, he, he was excited about it, wasn't he? Yeah, he was into it. What else were you guys into? A few too many vodka shots. <laughs> but, but it's a cruise, right? I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. And I promise, we did not drink and drive. That's very cute. According to Mrs. Forrest, you guys had some sort of uh, argument with Trevor last night. Why don't you elaborate on that? Like she would even remember. She forgot her name after a couple shots. <laughs> there, there was no argument, okay? A little disagreement, maybe. But, I mean, she's the one that went ballistic. Tell us exactly what happened last night. We were partying, like we said. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. Trevor, Trevor. Chill out, man. He didn't mean anything. His hands were all over. And he won't do it again, right? You just lost your head, that's all. Yes, I'm sorry. It's not cool. Look, look. We have thousands, maybe millions of dollars of business to do together over time. It would be stupid to let something like this get in the way of that. Okay, let's go. Hey, Trevor, wait, 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 wait. Good stuff, man. Huh? It's wild. Come on, we're all friends. Yeah, well, as long as we got an understanding. Plain deal, father goes here. 
I do like the sound of millions. Me too, brother. What's up? No, I don't. I want to go. What is wrong with you? You're the one acting like a war. What? Just try to stop acting like such a slut. I'm not a slut. I'm your wife. What are you? All I want to do is spend time with you. Is that so hard? Listen, man, I'm sorry. I'll pay for all don't this. Don't apologize to him. Apologize to Shut me. up. Don't talk to me like that. Then chill out. You are embarrassing me. Must be that time of the month, huh? Looks like you need a shot, brother. Amen. I'm surprised he could even move. There was blood in his room and on the balcony. You guys know anything about that? OK, okay. When, when, when we left him, he was out cold. You know, that, that's all I can say. I mean, we like the guy. I don't know what I was thinking, getting married. Oh, oh shoot. She must have brainwashed me or something. Women will screw with your head if you let them. Huh? Lightweight. Huh? I think you'd want us to have this for our troubles. Hmm. Orban Nakachoya. The chick probably cut his throat. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, did, did, did you just say she cut his throat? No, look, look. If you ask me, she's the one you should be talking to, okay? I mean, that girl's got a temper on her. If anybody threw him over, it was her. your frustration, but unfortunately, we only have their word to go on. As far as I'm sure there's really nothing else for that night you can remember. I'm trying. It's like I remember being in the club, and then the next thing I remember is waking up in the hallway. Sometimes alcohol or, or severe trauma can cause blackouts. This has been a terrible ordeal for There's got to be something else that happened between those guys and Trevor, something that they're hiding. What makes you say that? I just feeling about those guys from the beginning of trouble. I think they're hiding something, too. Well, without any actual proof, there's really nothing we can do. What about the rescue crews? Have you heard anything from them? I'm so sorry, Mrs. Forrest. But after an exhaustive search, the rescue effort regrettably was called off a couple of hours ago. And he's not anywhere here on the ship, and so we have to presume that he's been lost at sea. So there's... That's it? You're giving up? We can fly you to Tahiti if you like, and from there get you a flight home. Unfortunately, we won't be within helicopter range for another couple of days. You have our deepest condolences. I don't want your condolences. I want Trevor back. A young, good-looking groom disappears on his honeymoon. The media is going to have a field day with this. We're excruciatingly aware of that. It was those guys. I know it was. 
Unfortunately, having a bad feeling about someone isn't enough to accuse them. It's more than that. One of them did something to someone on the ship. What do you mean? I can't tell you. I promised. They did something to Trevor. There's not a doubt in my mind. I don't know what to feel. I just feel empty. You know, you may not believe this now, but this pain that you're feeling won't last forever. It won't. When my husband left, I, I felt like I'd been literally turned inside out. What happened? A lot of things. Most of them my fault. I, uh, I paid more attention to my career than to our marriage. I, I knew it wasn't great, but I'd just gotten home from this assignment in St. Louis, and he'd moved out. Sent me an email saying he was filing for divorce. An email? Yeah. An email. And I'm so grateful to be the person I am today. It won't be easy, and it won't be fast. But you'll get through this. You have so much ahead of you. Yeah. You know, I just got to make it happen. Exactly. That's what I've always done. I just see what it is I want. I see it so clearly. I can practically touch it. I just believe that it's already come true. I believe it so hard I can make it happen. Do you always get what you want? Not always exactly the way I saw it. But yeah, I usually do. I think I'll give that a try. Let you out of here? Well, that's the that's the problem with living in the same place you work. <laughs> You're actually in my bedroom right now. <laughs> Just going over the video surveillance footage. Just in case I miss something. Anything? Nah, not yet. Well, the bureau just emailed these to me. Nothing on Luca Fodor, but the other two have priors. Max Kovach for assault and Benedict Klimo. Turns out his export business that he runs with his father is all stolen merchandise from Eastern Europe. Think Trevor knew about this? I'd like to find out. I mean, clearly, Ben was lying to us, so. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll question him in the morning then. Do you want to have dinner? I was just gonna grab a bite and yeah, I thought. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd like that. Wait a minute. This is from the night that Trevor was at the club. He, uh, he was with the Hungarians. Lindsay. Yeah, and not her husband.
that you were gonna make your dreams come true. And I love you, baby girl. be some mistake. That is you, correct? Why are you showing me this? This is Forrest. When we dock in Tahiti, we're going to be facing countless questions. You, me, everybody. And we just need to get a full picture of exactly what happened the night your husband disappeared. Well, as I've told you before, I have no memory of this evening. I believe I must have been drugged. Is there anyone in particular you're accusing? Not yet. I'm just saying that if this video were to be released, if questions were brought up about my morals or something, it would be embarrassing, of course, but I would have no choice but to say what must have happened, that, that I was drugged, and taken advantage of by someone on this cruise. On top of Trevor's disappearance, I can only imagine how bad that would look for you. Keep it down between us. No, I'm not covering for you again, man. Look, just shut up. Nothing gonna happen. Why do you always have to pull this crap? I swear to God, Lindsay, whatever it takes, we'll find out what happened. I just want him back. Nadine and I are flying out day after tomorrow. We'll be there to meet the ship. You don't have to do that. It's already arranged. We're going to have a big press conference, put some real pressure on this cruise line to find out what the hell happened to my son. Do you think that's really necessary? You're damn right I do. Whatever it takes. Well, then I'll... I'll see you soon, I guess. You be strong now, okay? I'll try. Can you believe that? They're trying to make it out like I had done something wrong. I told you how they are. They always try to turn around on you. Look at this. There are actually websites just for cruise victims. There's that many, like whole support groups. What? Well, they're out in the middle of nowhere. No cops around. And look at this website right here. It's all people that went missing from cruise ships. There's so many of them. Oh my God. So they... They never find out what actually happened. I talked to a lawyer today. What for? My dad wanted me to. It was so morbid. He kept saying all this stuff about declaring Trevor legally dead. Oh, that's awful. He was asking you about life insurance, if we had a will. Just be panicked. I asked him to call my dad and I just hung up. I mean, we haven't even been married a week. What is there? Is there what? Life insurance or an inheritance or anything? I know it's hard, but you really need to know. Or are you just gonna get your old job back or something? What? I don't know. His family's rich, they, there's gotta be something. Not that money's important.
Excuse me. For her, I would say. I have a few questions for you. I'm meeting my friends. It won't take long. Maybe later. We'll see if they got. How long are you going to cover up for your buddies? What do you mean by that? There's already a full investigation underway. One of the passengers has lodged a complaint against your friend they're talking about pressing charges. I haven't done anything wrong. Then why are you afraid to answer a few questions if you've got nothing to hide? Okay. What is it you want to know? You were with Lindsay the night her husband disappeared, weren't you? Yeah. We hung out. You did a little more than hang out. I have the video from the hallway. So? I didn't do anything she didn't want to do. Shut up! Don't talk to me like that. You quit, all right? You're embarrassing me. Must be that time of the month. You must need a shot. <sighs> Amen. doesn't deserve you. He shouldn't say those things to you. He's your husband, no? He's supposed to love you and treat you with respect. He does love me. In his way. It's complicated. Sounds like an excuse. I suppose you're always a perfect gentleman. I know how to treat the woman right. Really? A woman needs a man who will listen. And hold her. You just can't get enough of her. That does sound nice. work on all the girls? Pretty much, yeah. I saw her. And what about Trevor? I never saw him. And you have no idea where Lindsay went? No idea. I went back to my cabin. Look, I've answered your questions. I have nothing to hide. Your friend Max does. So? Maybe you should go bother him. That can't be right. There has to be something. I'm just telling what the attorneys told me. Trevor has a couple of trusts in his name, but with his death, those will revert back to the forests. I'm a forest. I know you are, honey. Is there a life insurance or something? Just a small policy, but again, his parents are listed as the beneficiaries. There's the personal bank account, that'll go to you. It, it's shown about $17,000. 17,000? $17, Are you all through the cruise line, they have to pay, right? You shouldn't be worrying about all of this right now. What's the number for that lawyer? 303-555-0164. Thanks, Dad. Agent Merced. I'm not feeling great. You lied to me. Lied? About what? I don't know. Everything. Can't deal with this right now. You're quite the actress. 
What are you talking about? Pretend not to remember so you don't have to admit that you were screwing around behind your husband's back on your honeymoon. I haven't had to listen to this. I spoke with your friend Luca. He told me everything. I you threw yourself at him at the bar, then went back to his room for a night of wild sex. He says you're quite the tiger in bed. He's lying. We never had sex. How would you know? I thought you couldn't remember. I remember bits and pieces, that's all. How about the part where you got into a fight with Trevor over Luca? Are you remembering that part yet? That never happened. So maybe Luca's lying and you were actually in your room when Trevor came back. Did you push him over, Lindsay? Did Luca? No. I loved him. Maybe you didn't love your husband enough to keep him. But I sure as hell did. wife kissing another man. That footage could have been proof of why he was killed. How could your team have done this? Look, all I could tell you is what I've been told. Right? That somehow, somehow by accident, it got lost. And you bought that? Sorry, one. So am I to assume that Emerald Cove Cruise Lines is in full cover their asses mode? What happened? Did she threaten you? My advice to you is to try to enjoy the last few days of your vacation, Agent Marissa. Yeah. Ridiculous accusations at me. You can save the whole wide-eyed innocence thing for someone else. I'm not buying it. I've never hurt Trevor. You said you make things happen. What I'm wondering is exactly how far you're willing to go. I'm sorry I lied to you. That hallway where they found me? I don't know how I got there. I really don't. But other things I do remember. Trevor and I, we fight a lot. We always have. It's just because we're both so passionate. Passionate enough to hurt each other? Emotionally? Plenty. Not physically. So what happened? I'm not proud of what I did. I was hurting. And I made kind of a fool of myself with Luca. Nothing major happened. I know. I know how to lie, too.
bridesmaid Chloe taped our wedding as a gift to me, and I thought, you know, if I went back through the happy times, maybe it will calm me down. Chloe, thank you so much. I could not have done this without you. This is the best day of my life. What about you, Trevor? You worked in the bride? Lindsay, we're great together. I love you, babe. I love you so much. Oh, that's so sweet. Hey! I never loved anybody like I loved Trevor. I got up and I went to look for him. And I, I don't know. I guess the pills on top of the alcohol did something to me. Everything was spinning and I got lost. The next thing I remember is waking up in that hallway. You never saw Trevor. <laughs> that fight in the club. That was the last thing I said to him. <laughs> I wish I could take it back. I wish he was here. <laughs> I lied because I didn't want anyone to know. I was embarrassed. I didn't want people to think it was some awful person. But I guess maybe that's what I deserve. No <laughs> kid. <laughs> We have to tell them. What? About what happened to you. Oh, that guy did. No, I told you. Everybody's looking at me. I think I did something to Trevor. No, they don't. Nobody thinks that. You should see them. All staring at me and whispering things. I wish I could help you, but... Well, what if we went together? I could go with you. I'd be right by your side. I just can't. It's okay. I shouldn't have asked you. I just... The best thing for you to do is put this all behind you. I'm sorry. Visa. You know the parties there? Kick ass parties. Right under these shops. Sometimes they go on all night. Ah, they call it. Hey. Come on. We... What did you do? Sorry? You were the last ones to see Trevor alive. What did you do to him? We broke his drunk ass up. That's all. We feel terrible about what happened, but the last time we saw him, he was fine. I don't believe you. Hey, look at the bright side. At least you can find the real man now. Shut up. You crazy. Oh, you crazy. Oh, crazy. Oh, hopes to be. What did you do to my husband? I didn't do anything. How do you know you weren't there? You were too busy attacking me. Sammy Goss, that's not what happened. What did you do to Trevor? We told you nothing. Like you did nothing to Kim? The last girl this guy picked up, he raped. God knows what kind of party he had planned for you. Okay, look, look, why don't we all just chill out, okay? Relax. Hey, we'll she's lying. Luca saw the girl. She wanted. Tell them. Why are you doing this? Because you're all sick bastards. We will find out what happened. You won't get right, away with this. Let go of you. Let go of you.
another incident on our hands. Yeah, about what? Passenger claims she's been attacked. It involves non garians Yeah, I'll be right there. As soon as we dock, we'll have this man arrested. We'll be held by the French authorities in Tahiti until he can be extradited. Back to the U.S. I'm afraid he can't be charged in the United States. He'll be taken to Liberia where the ship is registered. Are you serious? Do you expect me to go there? It's the only way he'll be held accountable. No, he won't. And you both know it. I'd be in a foreign country, a single woman on a cruise. It's gonna be my word against his and he'll say I wanted it. But it was consensual. <sighs> There won't be any justice here. And I won't let them crucify me. I'm not that strong. I want those men off my ship. I'll make arrangements. You're finally relaxing a little. Not so much. Did you want something? You heard what happened to that girl? But that guy did. I did. I also heard you let about half the boat know. Well, I tried to tell you, but you seem more interested in accusing me. I wanted to find out what happened to Trevor. Somebody had to do something. And it certainly got suspicion away from you, didn't it? Why would I want to kill Trevor anyway? My life has been destroyed. Why would I want to do that to myself? I don't know. I loved Trevor. I made a mistake with Luke, okay? You know what it's like to make mistakes, don't you? We'll sue this entire company. We'll own this ship. Look, you can't just throw us off the ship. You two just shut up and let me handle this. Okay, you can't do this. Actually, we can. Emerald Cove Cruise Lines has the right to refuse service to any yes, guest. Oh, right. If you want to fight us on this, we can simply turn you over to the authorities, the Tahitian authorities. Have them deal with you. Oh, Chairman them you out. Man, man. Who's that? Yeah, I don't think so. Chopper's on its way. We're going to get on it, quietly. And you? You better consider yourself a lucky man, because you're getting a walk on this one. Get him out of here. What's going to happen to them? Well, she's not going to press charges, so not much. But if I had it my way, I'd throw them overboard, see if they could swim to shore. I was wondering if I could take a look at the cabin again. Yeah, what are you looking for? I don't know, but I'll tell you when I find it. I could lose my job over that, you know that, right? I do. The guy I owe you one. You do? Mm, I do. Captain, we're on course and scheduled to arrive in port at 0600. Very good. And uh, corporate just sent through a strategy for dealing with the media, so we're going to need to get organized on that as well. Aye, aye, Captain. Right. Captain? This is Forrest. What can I do for you? Can I speak to you alone? Yes, of course, come on. Um, let's step over here. Right here. How are you doing? Holding it together, I guess. It's hard. Of course it is. You're a very brave young woman. Sometimes it doesn't feel like that. I understand that. That woman who was raped, Kim. I met her that first day. I introduced her to those men. You know, you're not to blame for anything that's happened. I think, in one way or another, I'm to blame for all of it. Trevor's parents are beside themselves. They're meeting the ship in Tahiti. They've called a press conference. So I gather. I was online last night. I couldn't believe it. The headlines. Groom disappears. Honeymoon. Nightmare. It's everywhere. 
You, you know, you shouldn't be looking at that junk. Those people, they're just using you as fodder for innuendo and speculation. The thing is, I don't want Trevor's death to cause any more pain and suffering than it already has. And it would be even worse if what happened to Kim were made public. I agree. So I was thinking that maybe there's a better way. Something that would prove much easier for everyone. This is the name and number of my lawyer. He has some interesting ideas about how we could maybe handle this. attorney get in touch with him as soon as possible perfect with any luck maybe there's some kind of arrangement we can come to that would work out best for all of us all three Hungarians claim that Lindsay had a violent streak right yeah, well, those three aren't exactly Nobel Peace Prize candidates. Besides, it doesn't answer the main question. Why? You know, why would she do it? This beautiful young bride has everything to look forward to. Why would she destroy her entire future? It doesn't make sense. I mean, there's no motive. And, and even if she had one, how? How could she overpower him? What happened? Supposedly, Trevor was so drunk, it wouldn't have taken much. I'll tell you what I think happened. I think you'd want us to have this for our travels. Yeah. Olva na kachaya. Why did you marry me? I love you. <laughs> this isn't love. What are you talking about, babe? Great together. I I'm having a blast. I don't know about you. Aren't you? Is this how it's going to be? All of our lives? Look, babe, would you just, could you just calm down? You right. always do that. You always turn it around on me. Look, Lynn, I love you. What more do you want? Ah, you God. can't just say I love you, and that makes everything all right. I'm bleeding. You know, Lynn, if you just, if you just relax every now and you again. You are not possibly blaming this on me. Look, I'm just saying. I, I saw you. How could you on our wedding day? What are you talking about? Here. You want this? I don't want it anymore. No. Lynn, just look. Don't look. touch me. No, no, Stay come here. Come here and relax. Come here. Just come on. What? Look. Lynn. Just leave me alone. You don't mean it. Come on, babe. I just Stay away from me. Don't come here. touch me. Ah!
Wait, Lindsay said that she was watching footage from the wedding on her video camera right before she left the cabin. Well, wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. There was no... There's no video camera on the inventory. I did it myself. There's no camera. No. Oh. That doesn't make sense. It does if it's just another thing she's lying to us about. Okay, so let's, let's lock it. Uh, a broken bottle. He stumbles to the bed. Clearly, there's some kind of fight. Which leads us back out to the balcony. And the wedding ring is gone. Wedding ring is gone. How did she get past security? Sometimes when there's a change in shift, there's a lag before the next car arrives. If she was paying attention, she might have figured that out. Yeah, well, if nothing else, we can hold her on suspicion of tampering with the crime scene. Yeah, see if we can bite some more time. What a way to die. He could have lasted days out in the water knowing it was only going to end one way. Can you imagine? for 13 years. I told you you shouldn't have brought him along, man. Yeah, you were the one who was trying to screw the guy's wife. Yeah, at least she was conscious. Shut up, you're both idiots. What, what are these men doing? That's the captain's orders, sir. Captain? These men, they should be on a chopper by now. They'll be transported later tonight. Corporate commandeered the flight for another passenger. Who? Mrs. Forrest. She's gone? Almost an hour ago. We're in the middle of an investigation. I still have questions for her. You found evidence she committed a crime of some sort? I believe she may have tampered with the crime scene. Her wedding ring is missing from the cabin. I had her wedding ring returned to her. You got a problem with that? Yes. You need to get her back here. Well, I'm afraid that's not possible. She's probably halfway to Tahiti by now. getting new information about the mysterious disappearance that captivated the country six months ago. What started out as an idyllic honeymoon cruise for newlyweds Trevor and Lindsay Forrest turned into a nightmarish ordeal for the young bride. Question over here. What are you planning to do now? What are you planning to do now? That's all I want to say. That's all I want to say. Please just let me go. More questions than answers. Investigators are still trying to determine exactly what happened on board that tragic cruise. The mysterious bride has never spoken publicly about this event, but today, representatives of Emerald Cove Cruise Lines announced that they have given over $3 million to the estate of Forrest, which is controlled by the widow. We at Emerald Cove, of course, admit no wrongdoing in these events. Hopefully, though, with this settlement, the family can have some sense of closure and we can all move on past this tragic ordeal. We are getting new information. Gwen, a crew member found this in one of the lifeboats. He brought it to me first, and somehow, by accident, it got lost. So you might find it interesting viewing. Alan Cherick. Day of my life. Oh, my. What are you doing in here? Set 
anything off? Girls, will you finish dressing the window and get the rest of the sweaters and jackets and packed? Hi, Lindsay. Agent Merced. I'm so surprised to see you. Well, I heard you opened your store. Thought I'd come say hello. Oh, I never dreamed it would be so stressful. I imagine that $3 million in the bank takes away some of the stress. I'm sure they wouldn't want me to be miserable. He wanted this for me. That so? It's a shame we can't ask him. Congratulations. You're a clever girl. You really spun this for all it was worth. You know, it doesn't even matter if you were lying or not. There's always been one missing piece. Motive. Good luck to you. The store looks great. Let me! Let me! 